Hi Top Guns, Olga here and today we'll cover a topic which would be interesting for sales managers, sales representatives, small and medium business owners who want to know how to get high quality leads from LinkedIn. I've been approached with this question twice uh, last week and I decided that it's easier to record a video and explain how I do that, how I uh, generate high quality leads from LinkedIn using Sales Navigator tool. So I'll share my screen now and explain a step-by-step -step strategy of how I get clients from this useful platform. Let's go. So I'm sharing my screen now. And as you can see, when I go to linkedin.com, I have my sales navigator in my LinkedIn account. And you can see the badge either on the top right corner of the profile or here you can choose go to sales navigator. Okay, so let's click on the badge and when you first enter the Sales Navigator tool, it will ask about your sales preferences, like where your target audience is, what geography do they live in, uh, what industries do they work in, what is the company headcount you are looking for, for example, if you are targeting enterprise level to companies or you are targeting small and medium businesses. So all of these sales preferences are asked and your Sales Navigator is thus customized according to your needs. I won't do this at this stage because it takes a lot of time, like I spent last time about 20 minutes shaping up my sales preferences. Now I, I have all of them that. And as you can see, there is a bunch of uh, features that you can use in Sales Navigator. First thing first, you have uh, a news feed here, uh, which is where you have uh, all the accounts you're saved being mentioned in the news. This is a useful feature, but I don't use it much. Um, I'll show my approach later on. And as you can see, there is a panel with uh, more LinkedIn products, like you have an option to advertise. And here is, which is a very useful thing for US based sales managers and business owners, which is called ProFinder, uh, which is where you can actually um, find clients directly. This is only available for US-based uh, residents and US companies currently, so I don't use it uh, since I'm based outside of US, but this is a really, really useful feature where you can find clients and clients can find you. You just set up your account there and you can receive direct messages right in there. But I'll show you my approach, how I do that and the feature that I use most and I don't see much um, um, much point in using any other. So when I search for uh, businesses and I am in B2B sales, I'm targeting for leads, not for accounts. Targeting for accounts means, means that you're targeting for companies. For example, these are the companies that I saved and that are um, reflected in my newsfeed. But when you are selling to businesses, you're actually selling to people. And that's why I'm looking for leads, for um, decision makers. And let me show you how to do this. So when you click on search for leads, you can type on uh, keywords here. For example, I'm looking for people working in big data industry. And I want those people to live in the United States and let me put on Canada. And I want those people to work in computer software uh, industry. Also, I want uh, to reach new connections. I don't want to reach those I already, I'm already connected to this. I can do that later in my LinkedIn account. Uh, of course, it's easier with Sales Navigator, but still, I want to reach new leads, those I have not contacted yet. And also, I want to target for uh, for companies and businesses that are not really big, because I own small, medium business, and I I'm not up to targeting enterprise companies at this point. So I'm looking uh, also for uh, I can choose the uh, role features and role filter. Uh, this I find very useful, this one, which says how much years a person spent at the company. 
it's uh, well there is a tendency that people who are new to the company or new to the position are more open to new opportunities at this stage i won't put in anything there but just so that you know these are the options and the filters you might like to consider and the seniority level of the person i'm looking for i'm looking either for an owner uh, since I'm targeting for small and medium businesses, partner, XCO, VP, director, and I'm also targeting for managers. Why managers? Because most times it's actually managers who are looking for the right fit for their projects. They will be your bridge to the decision makers. They will be your advocates in the company uh, you will be targeting for. Okay, so I've got here 16,736 results. And I click on the button reach. You can narrow down your search by, by choosing other tags, groups, company type, and so on and so forth. But these uh, are the main filters I use, uh, and also these two. And I click on the search button. And the sales navigator starts searching for leads. By the way, you can, ch you can change uh, your preferences, your filters here. Uh, and it will change the filters in your already formed uh, search. Okay, so I'm, uh, I find that, uh, for example, this person is a global head of strategic vision development or, or this one. And I want to, uh, I have two options here. Either I can connect to them or I can message them directly. And uh, you can message uh, to up for, to 40 people uh, per month, per your billing period and uh, they will send this message uh, not only to their LinkedIn account, but also they will receive an update in their email, which is very convenient. But actually, most of the time, people are not checking out, are either not checking out their email box or they are not go uh, log into their LinkedIn account, so they might miss your message and you will end up losing that credit for messages from your sales navigator, which is why I'm choosing the connect option. And I'm sending the invitation to that person to connect. I'm writing something like, hi, Summit, right? I work in uh, big data and data science industry, and I would like to find out if there are any synerg synergies between ourselves. Would you like to connect? And this is the type of message I'm, uh, I send. You can't send huge messages here. I believe the uh, current uh, sign count is about four signs per connect message. I'm not sure, I, I haven't checked. So my messages I are rather um, short and close to the point. So I work in this industry, you work in this industry. Let's connect and see if we can uh, find that some synergies between ourselves. That's it. And if the person chooses to connect, which is actually which actually happens rather often, I can find they are reflected in your LinkedIn. So you can switch from Sales Navigator to your LinkedIn. It means even if you don't, if you choose to not prolong your Sales Navigator subscription, you can still be connected to the person and talk to them on LinkedIn. And you can go straight to your messaging section and write some uh, kind of message, a follow-up message like, hey, thank you for connecting and uh, let's do some calls, some introductory call at your convenience and see if we might find some synergies. And in most cases, people do agree to those introductory calls. It does not take long or they see that they are not, interest not interested, which is also okay. And uh, uh, this way, you know that you don't uh, have to pitch this person because a no is a no. Uh, there is an approach which is called do not accept a no as an answer. I do not follow that approach because I believe any person has a right to say no and I'm obliged to respect that choice. If they do not need us in the moment, then uh, direct all of your energy into finding other people who are interested in your services. And this is basically how it works for me in Sales Navigator. Uh, like I've mentioned, there is a lot of other features, but these are the features that I use and work for me. Like from 50 connect messages I send, I uh, receive about uh, 30 of 
uh, or more uh, of those people who accept those messages. And then out of those 30, I got about uh, 10 introductory calls, out of which one or two might result into a partnership, which is rather, rather good, I find. And I do not uh, spend much time in Sales Navigator. My, my lead searching approach is, I find, really effective. And having spent about uh, a few hours in Sales Navigator, I'm able to process those leads for about two weeks. Yeah, and the very useful thing about Sales Navigator is that you can cancel subscription at any time. There is an option to uh, take the uh, Sales Navigator uh, for free for one month and if you like it to subscribe for further uh, using the account and then you can cancel it at any time it's about seventy dollars per, per month uh, currently as of 2000, 2019 and but it's really worth every penny i would say this is the main sales tool i use i enjoy it and i highly recommend it for b2b sales and B2B personal sales. This one is great. Okay, so this is how I generate my leads on LinkedIn. Um, like I mentioned, there are tons of other different features and options, but this is the main uh, method on how you can get high quality targeted leads on LinkedIn. By using Sales Navigator, the search for clients can be very, very easy steps. You target your audience, you message them, you negotiate with them. That's it. So I hope you liked the video. Feel free to drop any questions that you might have related to using LinkedIn or Sales Navigator. I would be happy to answer. I've been working on LinkedIn using Sales Navigator for years and this is something I could provide some expertise in. So make sure to drop your question or your comment below and make sure to come back for another videos. Bye.